So I've decided to make some other videos of um, other areas so that we can get an idea of how St. Michael's compares in terms of the variety of offen the offences, the variety of offences, the number of offences, and um, how they're being dealt with. Because we did notice yesterday that um, lots of offences were not being, or couldn't be prosecuted, hadn't been prosecuted, had been basically signed off, but nobody um, had been charged rather than prosecuted prosecuted nobody been charged with a crime um so and interesting to see if um crimes keep repeating in the same road like we did keep seeing usual suspects and um that sort of sounds like there's a um, bit of a problem with particular people and could that be what sort of problem could that be um so um, let's have a look. Uh, so yeah, um, somebody also asked me if we could look at Inskip, and I um, yeah, let's have a look at Inskip. It is a similar sized village, and um, people have had concerns. So let's have a look at that, and we'll look at some other villages from different areas. So that would mean that it's different police forces so it might give an indication of how normal it is for um the outcome for the outcome to be as it has been in the cases in saint michael's so that um somebody couldn't be prosecuted or couldn't be charged so uh let's have a look Inskip comes under Great Eccleston and Inskip Policing under Lancashire Constabulary. So we're in February. And we're in February because that is the most recent information. They don't have anything for March yet. And we're still in April. So we're starting with February. And it looks like bloody hell. Look at all these violent, stroke, sexual offences. So violence and all sexual offences but obviously we're just looking at pie chart there could just be two of you know uh three and one actually it'd have to be wouldn't it let's have a look maybe it's three and one it is okay anti-social behavior on or near preston road right preston road is the road going through in skip the main road so we see on this map rather than going to go over to another video with Google Map where I show Google Maps but first I show how before I look at this offence on Preston Road I look at how St Michael's and Inskip are connected physically, by, by, which, by which road they're connected, basically. Okay. Hold on. Let's just get a bigger view. So how does it connect to St. Michael's? How it connects over Pinfold Lane connects to St. Michael's Pinfold Lane St. Michael's Airfield Hold on Oh yeah, and if you turn left you go onto Hall Lane Right, right, right Okay So this main road that you see is um, Preston Road where the antisocial behaviour has was occurred in February. Now, um, 
violence and sexual offences in February. We'll, we'll look at January in a moment. So Pinfold Lane, that's the that's the long road going heading to St Michael's. There were two, and they're both under investigation. So this is this is more positive in the fact that they're under investigation. And there's like we haven't seen that with any of the St Michael's one, Michael's ones. None of them said under investigation and left it at that. It was. Um, uh, oh God, I can't remember the terminology now. And South Drive. Okay, South Drive. Let's see if we can find South Drive without putting it in. Oh, I'm going to have to put it in online. Right, save time. Save time, do it online. Save South Drive. Doesn't though, does it? You end up looking for ages for things. So South Drive, there's the church. There we go, South Drive. Okay. Now let's have a look at January. Oh yeah, and, and I don't know if I said because I've made I started and stopped making videos as in as in I kept messing up and having to start again. Um, uh, but in skip is um around the same size as um Saint Michael's, around seven hundred people. Well, it's actually. It's a bit bigger, slightly bigger, 800 or so. So we have in January there was antisocial behaviour, vehicle crime, violence, and sex. But now let's make sure, just in case you haven't listened to the video before, violent, where it says violent stroke sexual, it does not necessarily mean that there's been a sexual offence. It could have been a violent offence. Could have been a sexual offence. It could have been a violent sexual offence. Well, I guess a sexual offence is probably a violent sexual offence like anyway, isn't it? So, um, or is it? Is flashing a violent sexual offence? I don't know. Is it just a sexual offence? <laughs> Answer in the comments <laughs> on that one. Right. On that note. Um, so, on or near Roseacre Road, there was some antisocial behaviour. Um, we won't bother having a look at that for now. Violence and sexual offences. So, violent and sexual offences are all in the ends of this category, but it doesn't mean they are violent and sexual offences. It means the category is called violent and sexual offences, so that it could be a violent offence or a sexual offence, or a sexually violent offence. Sorry, I'm repeating myself, but I just want to make that really clear. Um, so on or near Preston Road, and we know that Preston Road is the main road going through in skip. So that, let's go a bit smaller. This. Is Preston Road the B529? Where's it, where's it going to say Preston Road? It's not, is it? Unless I put it in. Or it might. Let's put it in anyway. Preston Road in this kit. Right. Okay. So. Actually, it will show us on that website precisely where that occurred. So let's have a look. There. On the road itself. A bit strange. Yeah, 
yeah, I realise it shows exactly where crimes occurred. Since yesterday. Um, I haven't been looking at this little map. Okay, so. That was January. So I'm not going to re say online where um, the residence in question is or was. I'm assuming it's still the residence. But it's not any of these addresses that have come up, I can tell you that. Uh, so make of that what you will. Um, I think I'm going to stop this video here and um, do a separate video regarding other villages that are around the same size as St Michael's that are in different areas so we can look at um, how um, if they've been dressed. Oh, I didn't have a look at what did it say? Under investigation. So this is under investigation. So um, is this the same police neighbourhood team as St Michael's? This says Great Eccleston and Inskip policing neighbourhood. I feel like the other one might, the St Michael's one might have said that. Um, um, I think you have to put a specific um, address in. Why Bank St Michael's Preston? Um, got a crime. Yeah, same police for police team, same neighbourhood team. Okay, right, so, and let's just, I just want to double check how, um, just want to double check the outcome and how it's worded. Uh, I know that one is under investigation in February. So, some are still under investigation, but lots, from memory, lots had been signed off as unable to. Oh, no, we've got two that are under investigation. Has this changed since yesterday? Hmm. And one that says unable to prosecute suspect. Hmm. Okay, I'm very paranoid now. December. Just, uh, just refreshing. So, December just had antisocial behaviour. Did it? Oh my gosh. Investigation complete, no suspect identified. October. Just, just, uh, I need to compare it with yesterday's video. I've got a little bit paranoid now. Um, the, I could be. I, I'm, I could be just being paranoid, so don't mind me over here. So all these said unable to prosecute suspect. So that was that might have been where we started getting a bit concerned that they they do investigate, but then 
or was seems to be unable to prosecute. So we kind of need to look down the line and see what happens with the ones that, that currently say under investigation. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave this video here. I would really appreciate it if you happen to be watching this video and you're not signed in. Um, if you have the time to sign in and to subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it because um, I've got a lot more to come and I'm... Um, I'd really like people to be able to see the information that I'm finding because I'm just I'm just mainly information gathering and sharing and um, I'm not really trying to put out a specific I'm not trying to put out a specific theory because I can see many different scenarios and I believe that it's the right thing to do to um, look into everything and to consider all possibilities and we have heavily criticised the police for not doing this or not, not appearing to not do this anyway and um, rightly so, but by the same token, I feel like okay, we're not a, we're not a police force, but we are. Some people we're putting our words out into the public domain, and what we say can affect other people, and could um, profoundly affect other people. So, I I just want to keep more of an open mind and um, just gather information and find out as much as possible without um, jumping to any conclusions. Um, sometimes I might say something that sounds like I'm jumping to a conclusion and I will usually say that's just how it appears to me. Um, I've been a bit scathing of the police um, and that's not how I felt when I first started um, looking at this case. Um, and that's been because of things that have come to my attention. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you can like and subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. Many thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, your morning, whenever it is that you're watching this.